So time for some more foodie stuff, I guess. I'm losing track of what videos at this point need to go out and which haven't gone out. And again, I need to create a back pile. Back pile, a backlog of stuff. So, this time in the, yes, it was cheap at the shops, so I got it because it makes content. Um, now, there's a type of biscuit over here in the UK. Um, known as a hobnob. Um, it's notorious, at least from if, if you've seen the Peter K uh, segment on biscuits. Most biscuits, when you dip them into a coffee or a tea or anything, they are very absorbent <clears throat> and break apart. And the whole idea of a hobnob is because it's sort of more, uh, I guess, like an oat-based style biscuit, it, uh, I mean, the, the, the whole line he does is, is like it's sort of an army guy when he's like, don't dip me again, don't. I can take it, keep dipping me, keep dipping, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> so, and they are pretty good biscuits. However, the twist is now... They're coming as cake bar style things. Um, well, this one, I don't know. It's called a flapjack. In fact, both of these are. <coughs> Rolled oats baked with crushed hobnob biscuit pieces, syrup and butter. So, it's sort of hobnob, but it's also just hobnob bits in with a flapjack style thing. <coughs> So we'll see. This time I haven't decided to open the packaging until afterwards, which means it will take 30 seconds to actually get into this bloody thing. Oh, we noticed a trend. Remember those caramel millionaire shortbread things that I had? There's space for a sixth. What's going on here? There's a lot of slidey room. <coughs> Look, there's two. Slide it down. There's clearly room for at least one more. A push, too, but certainly one more. Why aren't we getting six packs when you're providing box space, which is a complete waste? Recycling. Da -da -da. <clears throat> anyway. I think I've got that point over. I know what's going to be happening with the other packet then. <laughs> so, here's a flapjack. Just actually sort of looks like a regular flapjack. You can't really notice any of the uh, hobnob pieces. They just look like oats. Does it taste like a hobnob? We'll have to see. The flavour is sort of in there. But because it's a flapjack, you're getting a lot more of the syrup and the butter and the oats. There is a little touch, though, of the hobnob style flavour. I would say. So it so it is sort of it's not like a sort of generic flapjack. There is a little bit of flavour there. So it's not entirely sort of demerited or whatever if you want to call it. <clears throat> It's not as vivid. <clears throat> if vivid's even the right word. So, we also have a similar thing, except these ones are also apple pie sort of flavour. So this is cinnamon flavour flapjacks, so rather than oats. 
Oh, it was, sorry, it's cinnamon flavour with oats, the hob mob pieces, and apple flavoured fruit pieces. Apple flavoured fruit pieces. So it says fruit pieces. And then afterwards it says concentrated apple puree, concentrated apple juice, sugar, glycerin. Hum Humicton, or whatever it's pronounced. If it's apple, if it's fruit pieces that are apple flavoured, what fruit is it? If it is an apple. That's a bit weird. I get it, I get that it's flavoured, but if it's the equivalent of apple pieces, and but you're saying it's apple flavored fruit. It's like, what fruit is it? Is it banana, but you're flavoring it apple? Like, I don't know what's going on. Hang on. <clears throat> First, I'm trying to straighten out the packaging to once again express the space for six. Um, now the question is, are these going to look any different? Are we going to be able to see the apple pieces? <laughs> Not really. Um, sort of, uh, uh, sort of looks the same, but it smells that sort of apple sweet. So we'll say that this this looks like it might actually be an apple pie flapjack. Will the 6% count? We'll find out now. Mm-hmm. I don't even more so. Um, <clears throat> I'm making notes to myself. There's a little bit of the hobnob. There's obviously less sort of honey and syrup. There is still a sort of a tiny bit in there, but mainly the sweetness isn't obviously coming from the honey or the syrup. It's coming from the apple. And it comes in with the right sort of flavour. It builds over time, so you... You take your bite, and you get sort of the the oshi flavors, but then the apple kicks in as you chew more and more. And then you sort of get the aftertaste of like the, um, I guess it reacts in with the air, I don't know. But you get the aftertaste. I guess you can sort of see there, like the darker bits, is probably the apple sort of stuff. It's sort of a little bit darker sort of towards the the bottom, sort of uh, there, where my, hang on, there, that little bit, I think that might be, a, it is darker from what I can see. It's not as obvious, but... Mm-hmm. I would say the apple is just right. <clears throat> it's enough different from a flapjack because of the apple flavor. And it doesn't feel like just a flapjack. Even though both times I could taste the hobnob biscuit in it, so. Either way, <clears throat> these are pretty good. Um, check out all more content. More snack stuff from me, more snack stuff from Owen. Movies with AJ. Wrestling with either myself or Owen. Or both of us. All that sort of stuff, it's all here on the podcast network if you want to give us a subscribe or whatever um, 
do so. <laughs> I think you know how to do that, because the other YouTube channels do it enough. Um, same with the like and dislike button. They're there. You can press them, you don't have to. You can just watch the next video. Or watch whatever video, whether it's on our channel or not. Not f I'm not sort of like forcing you. Although it now sounds like I am. That's just genuine. Yeah, I never know how to end these videos. <laughs>